The Great Bridge softball team won its fifth state championship this weekend. Chris Reichling caught up with the champs this week as they end their school year with one final team celebration. Chris? We accomplished our goal. There's nobody else to play. They brought everybody they had. We ran out of teams. It's kind of a nice feeling. Huh? We kept counting them down. There was eight more, then there was four more, and then there was two more. Now there's no more. Yes, after a long season, Great Bridge is the last team standing. But that's nothing new for Wildcats head coach Kurt Clayton. He's been a part of five state championship teams, this team being his third state championship team as a head coach. It's uh, pretty awesome, I have to tell you. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun, but I, you, know, you got to have talented kids. If you don't have talented kids, coaching is, you know, you got to have something to work with. And we've been very, very fortunate to have some really talented kids over the years. The Wildcats finished off their fifth state championship season with a 25 and 3 record, sending the seniors off in style. It just meant so much. Finally, all the effort that I've put into this team for the past four years finally paid off. It feels amazing. Uh, I, we, we couldn't have ended it better our senior year. Um, we missed out barely in 09. We were all eighth graders. Um, and this was our goal from the beginning of the season, and we ended up finishing it. And on this last day when the Wildcats turn in their jerseys, only one final thing to do. It's tradition at Great Bridge. Each practice begins and each season ends with a throw around and one final message from your championship coach. This is something that nobody, nobody can ever take away from you. This is something that you'll remember the rest of your life. This is, this is something you accomplished as a group. Some of you will stay friends through college and, and on and maybe be in each other's weddings, who knows, but, but you will always have that common goal. In Chesapeake, Chris Rackling for the Sports Wrap.